After spending four incredible days in the beautiful Dolomites of Italy, it was time to head out to destination number three of C.com's epic dream job. San Anton, Austria. Nestled in Austria's famed Tyrol Mountains, San Anton stands out for me because of its majestic beauty, opera ski, and famous skiing history. This ski town gives off a vibe unlike any other. Let's check it out. Let's dive into the food first. It's simple yet unique and just what was needed after skiing all morning. Wiener schnitzels, apple strudel, Kaiser schmarm, aka fried pancakes, topped off with an Austrian beer. Yeah, say no more. Next up, we've got to talk about the opera. To say opera ski in San Anton is lively is an understatement. After skiing, it's a must to visit the famous on-mountain hot spots. My favorites were Crazy Kangaroo and the Mooserwit. From 4 to 8 p.m., prepare to party your heart out for no apparent reason other than the epic day of skiing you just had. And then there's the skiing. This is the birthplace of alpine skiing, which I learned all about at the San Anton Ski Museum. With scenic views over 9,000 feet, a vertical drop of 5,000 feet, and runs up to five miles long, it was clear to me why it all started here. And then there's the snow. We were hit with over 40 inches of untracked powder, and it was some of the best days I've ever had on skis. Between the legendary slopes and scenery to the traditional ski cultural experiences, it's no wonder this little town is responsible for making skiing what it is today. There's just no other place quite like it. 